Hi guys, welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about the QS World University Rankings 2022 which is recently released and in this session we'll first discuss about this ranking then we'll discuss uh, India's performance in this ranking then we'll discuss what are the concerns associated with this ranking and finally we'll discuss uh, some related initiatives uh, to develop the World University Rankings uh, initiated by India uh, so this is how we plan this session. Let's now start. So friends, the leading global higher education analysts, QS, that is uh, Quackerelli Simons, has released the 18th edition of one of the most consulted uh, international university rankings. And it is the only international ranking to have received the approval of international ranking expert group. And uh, in this year's ranking, the top three in the world, uh, the first one is the Massachusetts uh, Institute of uh, Technology, MIT, which achieved a record extending 10th consecutive year as world number one. And second position, University of Oxford. Uh, it has risen uh, to second for the first time since 2006. And the third spot is backed by uh, the Stanford University and the University of Kent. Cambridge both share the third spot uh, so that is the uh, basic uh, information about uh, this year's QS World University rankings now we'll discuss the performance of Indian institutes so Indian Institute of Science uh, Bengaluru and Indian Institute of Technology Bombay and IIT Delhi remained the three universities from India to rank in the top 200 positions and uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University, JNU, has made its debut uh, in the QS World Ranking University and is placed in 561 to 570 band. And um, 17 of uh, India's 35 universities have seen a rise in their uh, CPF score against only uh, 12 drops in uh, CPF and uh, uh, however indian universities continue to struggle in qs measures of institutional teaching capacity 23 of india's 35 universities have suffered declines in qs faculty student ratio indicator with only six recording improvements no indian university ranks among the top uh, 250 in the faculty student ratio category and uh, if you see uh, how uh, these uh, institutions are ranked, QS uses uh, six indicators to compile the ranking. The first one is academic reputation, secondly the employer reputation, third one the citations per faculty and the faculty student ratio and um, international faculty ratio and international student ratio so these are the six indicators and based on this th these rankings are made and that is the performance of uh, indian institutes now we'll discuss what are the concerns associated with this particular ranking if you see the concerns uh, the first one is there is no objective methodology the ranking do not accurately reflect the quality of education in india as they largely depend on international perception factors and half of the scores comes from reputation indicators which are based on perception rather than any objective methodology and uh, second concern is the manipulation this being blamed that this year's improvement in scores was simply a manipulation of numbers by the ranking agency driven by the commercial pressures uh, so there are uh, these concerns are there with uh, uh, regard to the QS World University ranking. Now we'll discuss what are the relative Indian initiatives to improve the World University rankings. So firstly, we have the Institutions of Eminence Scheme. It's a government scheme to provide regulatory architecture for setting up of or upgrading the 20 institutions, 10 from public sector and 10 from the private sector as world-class teaching and research institutions called institutions of eminence then we have the national education policy of 2020 which aims to introduce several changes in the indian education system from the school to college level and make india a global knowledge superpower then we have the imprint scheme that is impacting research innovation and technology it's the first of its kind pan iit iisc joint initiative to develop a new education policy and a roadmap for research 
uh, to solve major engineering and technology challenges that India must address and champion to enable, empower and embolden the nation for inclusive growth and self-reliance. And uh, then we have the Uchadar Avishkar Yojana UAY. Uh, it was announced um, with a view to promote innovation of a higher order that directly impacts the needs of the industry and thereby improves the competitive edge of Indian manufacturing. Uh, so these are the uh, initiatives and uh, that's all for today guys and uh, this is a very important uh, topic with regard to your prelim suppression so please go through it and remember the facts and we'll meet tomorrow with another topic thank you for watching this lesson.